Yo, what's good guys? It's your boy Jason JV saying welcome to another reaction video and guys today we're going to be having a look at a uh, video that was done by our man 6 Seconds called Luke Gone vs 6 Seconds The Movie. A <laughs> uh, little overly dramatic, don't you think? Um, but anyways guys, this is basically going to be uh, 6 Seconds um, giving his, giving us his insights on Luke Gone and the whole situation between, uh, I guess, him and Luke Gone, and uh, the situation between Luke Gone and Screwface John. So, guys, without further ado, uh, let's hear, let's hear from our man Six Seconds. All right. So, without further ado, like the hit, hit, go. Rappers in my scope, I got a lot. Yeah, I lost the six. He's the god, but y'all must have forgot. But when it comes to battle rap, there's not a two besides six on this YouTube shit. Try to battle six seconds and got destroyed. Hello, 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 motherfuckers. Y'all probably looking at me all kinds of different ways right now, right? It's uh 7:22 in the morning, and Damn. apparently, one Lucas Gonathan decided that he was gonna try to expose the god. Bruh, what the hell is a Kang? Seriously, what the hell is a Kang? I know what a king is, but what the hell is a Kang? And stay woke? Never. Expose juice. Expose chizzy. Whatever it is you know me as, right? And it seems to be working in his favor because I haven't been able to speak my piece. And I'm tired of rapping at this nigga because it's been made very, very clear that this nigga is nowhere near me. So... I'm gonna annihilate this nigga like this, with truth. So I'm chilling here, macking with my shorty. You can say hi if you want to. Hey. <laughs> so I'm man macking with my. Macking with his shorty, huh? Okay. Shorty, and I'm just going over everything that went down in this. We'll call it. We'll call it a. What do you, you want to call? It? We'll call it a story. The story of a uh, Lucas Gonath. I'm gonna spin y'all a little yarn. I... Did you say Lucas Gonathan? Is that a real name? Got my uh my notes over here. See if y'all see me looking this way, just know that you know what I'm saying a nigga been taking notes. I did some homework for this nigga. Be flattered, my nigga. I ain't want to do homework in school, but uh I had to do it for your ass today because you gotta go. <clears throat> so how did we end up here? Well, my boy Crypt, shout out to Crypt. Congratulations on winning the KSI contest. My nigga, you are a crypt. Which, yeah, I agree. Congratulations to Crypt for what, winning that popping challenge. Big ups. Crypt was gonna host this little YouTube rap tournament thing, whatever the case may be. And Lucas Gonathan decides to jump out the window at me. Basically says that he would kill me. We go punch for punch. Now fuck him up. Destroyed. Obliterated. Smoked. Smoked. Prepared a round two. Smoked. Did him even worse the second time around. This nigga got done dirty. I, and I took an hour to write it. I took an hour to write it on my live stream, which I might be doing right now. Now, uh, in his screw this, his most his most recent affair, not the the karma bullshit, but the one prior to that, he claims that he only lost to me because he was rapping off the dome my nigga one you should have wrote i agree i mean if you can't do your best work freestyling then write and if you can't do your best work writing you probably stay away from the battle rap scene i'm just i'm just saying and two based on the quality of your one hour writing according to you and my one hour writing which was the second round you still suck and you still i disagree with that um i think as far as lyrical ability is concerned i think gone is still a pretty strong lyricist uh although there is a song he did that i'm i, I am gonna do a reaction to uh, because i need to get my i need to share my thoughts on it called death to mumble rap where um, he kind of contradicts himself. And we'll, I'll gladly point that out when I get to that reaction. Um, but anyway, I think Gon has a lot of potential. Um, I, I think he is talented. I'm not going to sit here and post up on Front Street like these guys do. And say that 
he can't rap or that he sucks at it. Um, I don't know. Uh, those those diss tracks he came out with, Screw. Granted, lyrically, they were good. But delivery-wise, yeah, the, the quality on his delivery kind of suffered a bit. Because you could tell he was focusing more on being lyrical rather than, you know, being able to deliver his lyrics. So what a died, my nigga. In the midst of all this shit, Lucas Gonathan decides to be Captain Big Balls and starts calling me out of my neck. Calling me a bitch, blah, blah, yada, yada, blah, zay, blah. Whoop -de -whoop. Cool. Then he says to me publicly, if he loses 2 0, he will. Now, this, this is why I feel like social media has, has made some of these fools, if not all these fools, into fucking girls. Nobody cares about these fucking tweets. Nobody cares about your Instagram messages and all this and that. Nobody cares about this. Fucking he said. Well, I shouldn't say nobody. I don't care about all this he said, she said bullshit. People talk shit at their asses all the time. And why should Gon be any exception to that rule? You know what I mean? <clears throat> Obviously, he, he never planned on deactivating his YouTube channel. Um, and, yeah, if you're, if you're going to name call people, bro, I mean... Yeah, that that's that's not a good look. But either way, man, this is this right here, this is this is some he said she said bullshit that, you know, just makes 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 you guys look like fucking girls. Will delete his YouTube. That nigga lost. His YouTube still exists. As Who cares? Who cares? You still won. So just take your W and move on. Okay? Because you won. So who gives a shit? Okay? Don't worry about what the next man is doing. Worry about what you need to do. Move on. Ass betted. This bitch ass nigga ass betted. Every time I see this nigga's channel, it's a fucking disrespect to me as the nigga that beat him during his wager. Okay. You're going to take his YouTube channel still existing as disrespect to you. Bro, it's not that serious, okay? If you're still bothered by that, then obviously there is somewhere in your, in your, in your, deep in your conscious mind, dude, you are a little uh, in insecure, okay? You, you call yourself a freaking god and a kang. And you're you're bothered, and you're still bothered and threatened because this man who claims that he was gonna deactivate his channel because you feel like you've beaten him or whatever. Okay, fine. If you feel like you beat the dude, whatever. But maybe he doesn't feel like he's been defeated. Maybe he was just saying all that to butter you up just so he can get you on that feature. But. Maybe, yeah, you know what I mean? People lie all the time. That's human nature. So, yeah, he said himself, you won. Fine. Maybe, But maybe he was just doing that just to shut you up. He ain't have to say that. He said that to be disrespectful because he, sure, he was fucking sure. He was fucking sure he was going to smoke me. That nigga got fucking destroyed. You suck. With all... In your mind, in your own conscious mind, you believe this guy got smoked. And I'm sure you have a big fan base that would agree with you. But then, to be fair, like I said, maybe Gon doesn't really feel like he was defeated. Maybe he doesn't feel like he was smoked. And I'm sure he has a big fan base that would agree with him too. But either way, this shit should just be done. Take your W and walk away, bro. Take your W, call it good, move on. All the bullshit that this nigga talked on his songs and on Twitter, calling me a bitch and all that craziness, it's it's surprising to me I let him slide the way that I did. Because I've smacked the niggas up for way less than that. And that nigga outright disrespected me and called me. Okay, you smack dudes for way less than being called a bitch. 
Again, that goes to show how insecure you are because words only have as much power as you give them. <laughs> Jesus Christ, dude. I've been all kind I've been called all kinds of shit. Doesn't phase me. Because I know who I am. But that's just me. Me out of my name. Good job, shit. I DM'd you about it. And I told you directly that I wanted to punch you in your face for calling me out my name. And you apologized. You know why? Because you know better. You know that's not you. Fast forward, after he sent me a couple of ass records, we get to this song right here. The old set the nigga up that disrespect. You said you wanted to punch this dude in the face. Bro, why would you confess to this on a public platform? That's what snuff, snuff. That's what self snitching is. You just self snitched by saying you wanted to punch this dude. Back to you for disrespecting you, song. Y'all know the one. Y'all know the one. World War Three, nigga. In the middle of the DMs, planning out the record and shit, he decides to pitch the idea of lighting up everyone that called him whack, including my nigga Shofu, who I warned about it, by the way. And Shofu would have tore that nigga to fuck up. Go figure. Actually, the nigga that died pitched the idea to this nigga. And proceeded to tell me that as long as I wasn't involved, it'd be an easy dub. You're scared of me, my nigga. We see how that worked out, my nigga. He sends the song over the first time. No disses. Sends the song again with disses to apparently everybody, everybody, everybody that said that he was whack around the time of the death to mumble rap joint. Now listening to the song, I only hear the names of Screw, Munfu, and my little brother Dante. You might get take. And I'm sitting here like, hmm. I could have sworn there were more people that laughed at this song. Huh. I wonder where they are. Where's the where's the Fantano? Didn't Quadeca laugh at this shit? There are a couple more niggas that laughed at this song. Why is it just Munfu, Screw, and my nigga Tay? Hmm. So I ask him, letting him know that shit can look racy as hell. Consider. So, hey, question. Why didn't you talk about Anthony Fontano? Yeah, because I saw Anthony Fontano's roast video on that Death to Mumble Rap video, and man, let's just say Fontano did not hold back. That he made a whole video about your song. Facts. I just watched it. And Quadeca memes it. Okay. Like everyone you named on the song is black. Oh my god. No you didn't. We're going to play the whole race card victim card bullshit here now. Really? Like, everyone you name on the song is black. So fucking what? Maybe, maybe he just doesn't like Screw personally. Maybe he just doesn't like Dante personally. And whoever the fuck else he named on here, Monfu. Maybe he doesn't like him personally either. It seems like you're trying to make this thing... Even bigger than what it needs to be. You're trying to you're you're doing this whole race baiting bullshit now. Bruh. Oh my god, man. I don't care what anyone says. When you play the race card, you evict you officially become you officially declare yourself the victim. And victims never win, victims always lose. So this is a automatic L. Considering, you know, white. Hold on, let me finish reading that bullshit. You know, I know it's bullshit. I still want to finish reading it. I laughed at this song. Why is it just Munfu, Screw, and my nigga Tay? Hmm. So I ask him, letting him know that shit can look. Let's see here. Uh, like everyone you named on the song is black. Uh, when there's white people that have done you wrong too, you know that looks bad as shit, right? You know people can call you racist as shit for that, right? Okay. 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 I'll add them in. 
Do you care if I'm going for like four minutes? Okay. Okay. Now, to be fair, now that I read this whole thing, gone, do, do, does it mean that I think gone is not racist? No, because if you go to um, Death to Mumble Rap, he has a black MC in that song, or at least someone who appears to be black. I have to watch the, vi the official video for that song again, because, um, yeah. But anyway, um, no, all this proves right here is that he just lied about adding in uh, Quadeca, Anthony Fontano, and whoever the fuck else. You know what I mean? <clears throat> Let me see. Fontano, Quadeca. Okay. Yeah, all this proves right here is just that Luke Gon lied about um, who he was going to go in on. You know what I'm saying? That's all this proves. It just proves that he, he's a liar. That's all this proves. doesn't mean he's racist. No, this is this is race. This is still race baiting shit. Look, we're racy as hell, considering you know, white guy, everybody that he's. Dead. So, so because he's a white guy, he's he's automatically racist because he called out a few people who just happen to be black. You know, calling a white guy racist is racist, right? I'm just saying. See, again, dumbass MCs that don't know how to think before they speak. This and is black. Blah blah blah. Y'all know how the comments be, and y'all know how some niggas on this platform be. Did I People are gonna think whatever they want, regardless. Welcome to the internet. <laughs> this doesn't prove shit. Want this nigga to fail? Absolutely. Fuck that nigga. Be careful with what you wish for on others, because what goes around comes around. There's a thing called karma. You wish failure on someone and it happens, don't think it won't happen to you. But I get it. You're, you're young. You're young. So you still have a lot of growing up to do. You still have a lot of learning to do. I get it. I get it. Did I want more race war bullshit going on on the platform? Nah. So you don't want any more race baiting bullshit to go on, but yet you just race baited by showing the messages between you and Luke. Make that make sense. So I let the nigga know. According to him, he came back and said no. See, uh, want to know what's more important than being a good rapper, being a good person. The truth is out for the record. Six told me to diss Quadeca and spell Font Fon <laughs> He spelled Fonti Fon Fontano or Fontino, whatever the fuck his name is. He spelled his name wrong. And I came back and told him no because i don't have a problem with them enemies don't always get blocked but liars do mm, yeah, technically yeah this dude is contradicting himself which makes him look a little bit like a not makes him look a lot of bit like a liar so there's a lot of lying going on all around from screw to gone and to six here okay all these fools are lying on each other because really dude you gotta add on this shit because they didn't do anything to him but these messages here show that one he said he was gonna add them and two he didn't want to make him people they're fucking weirdos I have brutal lyrics for all of them, but I feel some fear that if I swing on everybody, I'm going to box myself out of the political shit and ultimately hurt my chances of blowing up ASAP. Bruh, you kind of already hurt your chances of blowing up ASAP with the shit that you pulled during this whole beef. And this is why I said in my, you know, like Shaq, uh, reaction video that if you're not built for battle rap if you're not mentally and emotionally prepared to get yourself into a beef right if you're not able to finish this beef and you do that that fucking punk shit by blocking these dudes on social media you know what i mean which is basically your way of tucking tail between your knees and running off you know what I mean? Then, dude, don't fucking battle rap. Don't beef. And then, and what's worse is you're the one who who 
instigated the shit in the first place or initiated the shit in the first place. That's not a good look. So, yeah, and even though I don't agree with all this fucking he said, she said bullshit, I mean, obviously, Six came prepared with the evidence and showed us just what kind of person gone is. This is very damning. This is very damning evidence, Gone. This does not look good for you. Does not look good for Six or Screw either. But, I mean, hey. It, well, I shouldn't say Screw because really this is between Six and Gone. I'm going to have to edit that out. His blow up harder to do. Oh, yeah, I forgot to finish reading this. Uh, I'm trying to think about how I want to go about shooting shots. Okay, if you got a second guess on how you go about shooting shots, maybe you shouldn't fire any shots. How about that? You have second thoughts, but yet here you go again with the, oh, but we got to go in. But we got to go in, though, no doubt. Do. He purposely left niggas out of this song that he said he was going to put in it just for the sake of maintaining that bridge and blowing up not for moral reasons for business reasons smart business move i get it you're still pussy you're not a good person you just playing the game i wouldn't go as far as saying that he's he's not a good person because gone he's a young cat himself i think he's only what 23 he's in his early 20s i i heard i heard he's in his early 20s I heard someone say he was 23. I'm not sure who it was. Um, but I'm not going to name blast anybody. Um, but anyway. I'm just going to say Gon is young. He he has a lot of growing up to do. He has a lot of maturing to do. As does Six Seconds. And as does Screw. You know what I mean? A lot of these guys, they need to get their egos in check. You know what I'm saying? They need to get their emotions in check. And um, just, just be done with the shit and move on. Okay? It's... If you truly feel like 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 you won, like you deserve a W and you won, you got the W or whatever, then just take your W and move on. Cause really, this is all just bullshit now at this point, man. This is all just a bunch of fucking drama, dude. This is just some dumb drama. You playing politics? I get it. Maintain the bridges with the people that you can capitalize off of. Type shit. You feel what I'm saying? You don't wanna. You don't want to fuck up the chances of the world finding out about Mr. Flippity Hibbity and having people all across the planet listen to you rap 400 words in 12 seconds. I feel you, my nigga, I feel you. So boom, I do my verse, cooking this nigga. I inform Screw so he doesn't get blindsided because that's my nigga and I be which I do commend you for looking out for your homeboy. But here's the thing that, that bothers me though. It's going back to the whole race baiting BS. If you feel like Gone is a racist, according to you, right? From your own mouth, from your mouth. If you truly feel like Gone, as you said, is racist, or you have a feeling or inclination that he might be racist. Why would you agree to do a song with him? Now I get I get now why you why you agreed to do it. So you can sneak in and do and try to sneak this gone on his own diss track. Okay? So I I get the end result in hindsight. But let's go back to when you made that decision to go in. Make this make sense. If you truly feel like gone is racist, then why are you doing why would you agree to do a song with someone who you believe is racist? That just doesn't add up. Anyway. A fake nigga to let my friend get snuffed without warning. Would I be a fake ass nigga if, uh, if I... Because, because look, if you think about it, if you're trying to prove this man is racist, right, then wouldn't agreeing to do a song with someone who you believe is racist, wouldn't that hurt your case? Because if you're 
in the same song with this person and you're in the same video with this person, then you're basically undercutting your point about him being racist by proving that he's not racist because you're in the video and on the song with him. So again, make that make sense. I, if I let my mans get punched out of nowhere knowing it was coming and didn't warn them? Yeah. Bop. Nice talk. Hey, Cleo. You see my dog lurking in the background? So yeah, the song drops. Luke looks fucking stupid. He's on a song dissing my friends. As do you for doing a song with someone who you believe is racist. Think about it. He's doing a song with the nigga that killed him and the nigga that killed him is killing him on the song. Luke, you look fucking stupid. So I get it. You start reaching for... Technically, you both look stupid. I mean, yes, Luke does look stupid for doing a song with someone who killed him in a rap battle. You know what I mean? Who dissed him on his own diss song. But you look stupid for doing a song with someone who you believe is racist. So you both look stupid any means of putting a band-aid on on the wounds that were caused by your own stupidity the wounds caused by you being socially unaware and being a cornball and being an idiot i get it you needed to put a band-aid on that because you're lucas conneth you're the man that that can rap every eminem verse flawlessly the man that stares in the mirror pretending to be slim shady every halloween you dress up like slimmer shady and both you and Screw look like members of the free world because you use that whole wannabe Eminem tagline on your diss songs towards Gone. And Screw also used the wannabe Eminem uh, jokes in his diss songs towards Gone. Didn't you listen to the last round, me head? Pay attention. You're saying the same shit that he said. And y'all about wore me out with that wannabe Eminem shit. Because, man, it was constant back and forth, you know what I mean, from both sides. And that's your thing. I get it. You and by the way, who's wearing a yellow beanie trying to, you know, that kind of looks like a uh, blonde hair. And wearing a white tee. White tee and blonde hair. I'm Slim Shady. Yes, I'm the real Shady. All you other Slim Shades are just imitating. I'm just saying. Couldn't afford to look stupid. But you did. Now you gotta play the victim role and get out of it so you don't look dumb as so you can make niggas look fake. I know how I moved, my nigga. So now we here. I'm the King Cobra, nigga. I'm the nigga that that slid in and tried to get this corny nigga out of here for being a corny nigga. I'm the motherfucking the puppet master that pulled the strings of this nigga and got him to slip and fall in his own shit that he can't handle the smell of. You can't fuck with me, Luke. You talk a lot of shit. You use words that you should not use with Nick. To be fair, he does have a point about Luke talking a lot of shit. I mean, there's people that went to bat for Luke saying how, oh, he's a nice guy. He's a sweetheart of a guy. I don't know, man. Based on those uh, on those text messages, he comes off as someone who is very, very contradicting. But then again, so does Six. Niggas. Because niggas will punch you in your face. I feel like you talk this way because you have not been punched in your face. Luke, stop talking like you want to get punched in your face, Luke. By the way, that that's that's not what a that's not the sound of a punch. That's not what a punch looks like. It looks like you're 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 slapping a dude rather than punching him. I'm just saying. It looks like you're giving him the freaking backhand. I'm just saying. That's not that's not what a punch looks like. You not built for me. You do not rap better than me. You rap faster. Okay, if he doesn't rap better than you, then why are you tripping on him keeping his YouTube channel? If you're that superior, it should not bother you that he still has his YouTube channel. Move on. Better than me. You do not rap better than me. Your pussy. You said that you would take an ass beating before you. See, they'll see. Uh, I'll, I'll keep it a buck with y'all right now. So you only keep it a dollar? Mm, Benjamin Franklin is on the face of a hundred dollar bill. So why not say I'll keep it a Benny? Makes more sense. But then again, uh, these, these fools lack sense. Anyway. 
I'll keep it a buck with y'all right now about this YouTube shit. A lot of the YouTube rap ninjas are cornballs. Facts. Big facts. I, I can agree with Juice Wayne on that one. There's uh, sex offenders running around. Running around. What? Running around the gamers. There are sex offenders running around the gamers. Um, okay. Whatever the hell that means. Uh, ninjas pop out. Ninjas pop shit about each other all day, but are afraid of confrontation. And the algorithm is dog shit. I hate y'all laughing my ass off. Dude, that's facts. And that's why I say, you know, again, social media. Or in this case, text messaging. Whatever the fuck, man. Makes y'all like girls, man. You talk all this big shit while sitting behind a computer screen. But yet, in a face-to-face -face confrontation, y'all ain't gonna do shit. Y'all ain't gonna do shit. Jesus Christ. You, you're either gonna apologize to each other, or even if you are gonna do shit, my suggestion would be to, you know, duke it out, and then shake hands, be men, shake hands, and walk away. But, because, yeah, I agree with Juice Wayne here. All you motherfuckers do this on social media and on text messaging. Talk a good game. But then when it comes to, you know, face-to-face -face confrontation, yeah, you guys can do nothing. And then here's Luke. Uh, bro, I'll take an ass whooping before I run from confrontation. Motherfucker, that's a lie. Because if that were true, you wouldn't have blocked six and screw from Twitter. So stop playing yourself, Luke. Stop playing yourself. See, I'm out... I'm out the YouTube rap shit. It got whack. And that's bullshit right there too. Because if you're out the YouTube rap shit. You would not have uploaded World War 3 on YouTube. Where you contradicted yourself on that song and in that video. By saying you hate YouTube rappers. Not the exact words. But you guys. But it was, it was the gist. You guys get the point. You hate YouTube rap fools, and I believe I called you out on this too on that reaction video. You hate YouTube rappers, but yet you have a video on YouTube and you're rapping. Which by legal definition makes you a YouTube rapper. Fucking contradictions, man. All these motherfuckers. I don't care what anyone says. You run from confrontation. But you blocked me on Twitter. I can't contact you and I can't clap back to the bullshit you talking about me. You're running from the confrontation rather than taking the ass beating. Ain't that some shit? Yes, you know, that I, I could agree with six on that. I agree with six on that, 100%. Because that's exactly what he did. You block, you block him and screw on social media, which means you tuck tail between your legs and you ran off. Which is a bitch. Which is a bitch move. I'm not calling you a bitch, but that was a bitch move that you did, and you know it. And what's worse about this whole situation was that the same guy who tucked tail and ran off is the same guy who initiated this whole thing in the first fucking place. My first getting into a rap feud with with six seconds. And then try to use six seconds on a diss track towards his homeboy screw. It's not a good look for you, Gone. I'll tell you that much. I'll tell you that much right now. It's not a good look for you, man. But I'm the fake nigga. You said that if anybody stepped up, they would vilify me and play. See, and play victim. That's not my problem. If the shoe fits, laughing my ass off, they gonna feel it. You should put me on that joint. I would have sent shots. See, gone, gone. You're just looking for trouble, dude. You're just looking for trouble. Now, the more I think about, it, the more, um, the more I'm thinking. Like, I can understand why Six is making this video. 
the more I can understand where he's coming from. Doesn't mean I agree with everything that he's saying on here, but I understand where it's coming from and why he feels the way that he does. I understand it. Doesn't mean I agree with it, but I understand it. Play victim. What are you doing right now, Lucas? Vilifying a nigga. Playing victim. I got set up. You were stupid. Why put the song out? You heard. See, I'm not with these games. Yo, I'm not with these games, B. You're being really flip floppy. I'm not with. What's that? Oh, vagueness. I'm not with the vagueness either. It's either you're shooting directly or don't shoot at all. I don't want to be a part of some subliminal shit. If you are shooting, then fucking shoot. Don't operate with the foolishness, bruh. If you ain't about it, then say so. And send something else. This shit got y'all... This, this shit got you looking goofy. Uh, laughing my ass off. Those are my shots. Lock them in. Yeah, I, I'm not with that that sneak dissing bullshit. You know what I mean? I think that's pussy shit, but that's just me. You're diverse. You saw the video. Why did you put the song out? And then claimed on your second disc that you knew Six Seconds was going to do this and that you knew he was going to tell Screw and then try to claim that it took Screw four or five months to respond, which is a lie because as, as both Screw and Six and Crit have confirmed, Screw posted his disc immediately after you posted World War Three. So, yeah. All them dudes, everybody said it, and, and and hell, I even saw it for myself. When I saw, I got the notification for World War Three, and then immediately after World War Three, like minutes later, I got a notification that Screw sent uh, posted up his response. Not looking good, bro. Not looking good. You did this to yourself. Facts. Nigga, you put Facts. the song out. You know that I was cooking you on the song. Facts. You knew those are my people. And apparently, you knew that I would tell Screw about the song. So why were you not prepared, motherfucker? Why are you acting like such a bitch, Lucas? I'll tell you why. It's because you moved stupid and you got got, my nigga. It happens. I get it. You moved stupid. You look dumb and you're pussy. Be pussy, my nigga. Stop throwing around that word bitch and telling niggas to suck your dick. You're not built like that. Be pussy. Stop telling dudes to suck your dick if you're not gay. Nothing wrong with being gay. If you're gay, hey man, cool. Do you. But if you're not gay, then stop telling dudes to suck your dick. Because you look like a dumbass when you do that shit. And it, it just... Nah, I, I'm going to leave with that, man. Pussy. You don't have to be tough. There's plenty of pussy niggas in the industry. Hoping you make it that far. I hope you do. I want to see you succeed. But I also want to... See right there? Now, six seconds, he just matured a little bit right there. Earlier, he was saying that he wanted you to fail. Now, he's saying he wants you to succeed. And I agree with that. I want all you guys to succeed. I do. Whether I'm a fan of yours or not, it doesn't matter. I want to see all you guys succeed. I don't want to see any of you guys fail. Because I still believe, Gone, you have you have potential. You really do. You have potential. Six Seconds has potential. And regardless if I'm a fan of Screws or not, Screw has potential. All you guys have potential. And I hope all you guys squash this shit and do a song together, all three of you. Gone, Six Seconds, and Screw. I would like to see all of you guys together on one song. No disses, just a cool banger, you know what I'm saying? And you, All three of you killing it together. That's what I would like to see. 
No more of this toxic bullshit. I want to see you start being true to yourself. And that, that, that calling niggas bitches and all the rest of that shit, that's not you. You don't have to be tough. Really? Another fucking ad? Stop saying shit like you're tough. Stop saying shit to niggas that'll make them jaw you if you don't got the jaw for it. This? This ain't you. Stop. Leave that. And obviously you've proven you can't finish what you started. So, so if or when you come back and release more music, don't ever, 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 ever start another beef unless you're prepared to finish it. Cause that makes you look weak as fuck. Max alone. You had nothing to do with none of that. Stop talking shit. And stop talking fucking crazy to me before I slam your head on a bunch of shit and rattle your brain worse than- Dude. Stop making threats on the internet. Stop making threats on a public platform. You just self-snitched again, Six. This is stupid. It's not that serious. Let it go. You won. Let it go. And move on. Then it already is, my nigga. I'm not playing with you. Stop. Follow me on Twitch, though. I'm probably streaming right now. Oh. Yeah. So, guys, I'm only doing this reaction because I want to be done with this. I'm putting a bow on it. I wanted, I'm doing it for the sake of closure. All right, now, my overall thoughts on this whole situation, it's a bunch of drama, it's a bunch of bullshit. All these guys have a lot of growing up to do. All these guys have a lot of maturing to do. All these guys need to get worry about getting their shit together. You know what I'm saying? Honing their skills, perfecting their craft, and just everyone stay in their own lane and do them. You know what I'm saying? That's all I got to say about it. You know what I mean? This fucking eye thug shit needs to stop. You know what I'm saying? All this fucking eye thug nonsense. That's what you guys are. Eye thugs. Internet thugs. You need to cut this shit out, man. Like Juice Wayne says, you guys talk a good game when you're hiding behind a screen, but when it comes to face-to-face -face altercations, you ain't gonna do shit. Nor should you do shit. Because is one person really worth risking your career? Risking your life? Risking the possibility of you spending the rest of your life in a sausage fest? Think about that. Anyways, y'all. Done with this shit. If you guys like this video or not, it really doesn't matter to me. Like I said, I'm only doing this just for closure. Uh, insights and feedbacks in the comments down below. If you're new here, welcome. Thank you for your review. Appreciate it very much. Um, hopefully, you'll consider subscribing to the channel so you can be part of Jason JV family. And, uh, yeah, don't forget to follow me on Instagram, SoundCloud, and, uh, yeah, all that fun stuff, guys. And until the next one, it is your boy, Jason JV, saying y'all take care, and I'll catch y'all in the next one. All right? We out, man. We done with this shit. Now let's move on. Peace!